Welcome back to Definitive. Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kooky kids in love that love the MCU. And uh, so WandaVision, the, the trailer 2, has come out. And I think this, to me, is Marvel's most ambitious project uh, to date. And it's like the riskiest one they, that they've done, sort of. It's, it's, it's the first trailer. It was kind of, it's kind of out there. Um, and it seems very fresh and original. So I'm very excited to kind of learn more about this going forward. It's the first one we're going to get on January 15th. Alright, here it goes. So what's a single gal like you doing rattling around this big house? Well, I assure you, I'm married to a man, <laughs> a human one. What's in I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> yes. Um, I I don't know if you know this because I'm not familiar where this fits in the MCU timeline. I mean, I think because of the allusion to the destruction of the Soul Stone, this is obviously post Vision's demise. Yeah. Um, spoiler alert: if you haven't watched all the Marvel movies, go watch them right now. <laughs> um, so I'm wondering if this is when she's kind of vanished, or is this after? Uh, what's his face has been killed and the stones returned and, and she after does her. vanish I mean yeah so I'm not sure if this is you know where this fits exactly the timeline but I'm fascinated to see how they do this I think you're right I think it's a hugely ambitious project um, it, it's sitcom but it's mm -hmm. not at the same time it's yeah uh, the tone of it is great and I think that this one adds a little bit more of the Kind of, kind of heart behind the um, show, whereas the first one you were just kind of, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you know, there's all yeah. these different costumes changes happening, and you know, you can see Wanda's, you know, costume from the from the comics. We can see Vision's old costume from the comics, um, and also this, I guess, is based on uh, according to my, my brother, uh, Mike, who reads was a lot more caught up on the on the Marvel comics than I have been. Um, said this was based on House of M, um, which is basically where Wanda kind of like loses control of her, of her mind and, her, and, and whatnot and uh, almost basically, basically kills all mutants. Well, I'm um, excited to see that because so much of the movies have focused only on her telekinetic powers. Yeah. Not her telepathic abilities or what actually the strength of her, her brain is in terms of influence that way. Yeah, her like reality warp is basically like, you know, how she was able to like alter the reality of Thor and, and Captain America in Avengers Age of Ultron. That, that's the only time she ever really did it. And then they just didn't just skip it over um, completely after that. Which is a pretty badass power to mm -hmm. kind of just skip over. Yeah, exactly. So it's nice that they're bringing that back. Uh, let us know what you think of WandaVision down below in the comments and what you're excited for and uh, some of the characters you're looking forward to. I think Photon was in there. Um, Maria uh, Rambo. Or Monica Rambo or Maria Rambo? I get, those, I get the two mixed up. It's a kid. It's a kid grown up. Um, and she becomes Photon, which is like another Miss Marvel or uh, Captain Marvel character. Um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of how, how that all, all ties in as well. Just keep in mind that our uh, trailer reaction to WandaVision is definitely not definitive.